Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a new video. So, in this video, I'm going to be going through the steps that I go to when I edit pictures, the pictures that I take, all through Lightroom. So I'm going to show you how to take an unedited picture like this, and then get to a final design, which you see on screen now. So yeah, basically we're just going to go through how I do it. Obviously, there's different ways of doing it. Um, and especially people, once they get used to Lightroom and they understand it, or they just hop straight to using the filters, but we're not going to be using any of those. We're gonna just gonna go through all the settings, and we're gonna, we're just gonna find the ones that I find useful, and we're gonna add it into the final picture. So, <clears throat> when we get started, uh, we're under the basic category. First things that you're gonna see, this is mostly... The first step usually is to white balance a picture. Now, I took a pretty good picture. I did it myself in the camera settings, so that would be white balance itself. But how this works is that usually you'd click this, um, it's called the white balance selector. And then you'd click on the part of an image that you think should be white. And so as you can see, well, I clicked a bit off onto a blue one, but since I just saw it blue, it made it a bit more orange, so it adjusted. But I'm just gonna reset that, we're just gonna go through. So... This was actually, even though it looks a bit cold out, this was before sunset. So, I think my color scheme that I'm trying to aim for is sort of a, it's pretty overused, but it's just orange lighting, blue shadows. So, we're just going to go through, we're going to adjust the temperature, I'm going to make it a bit warmer, the tint I won't touch too much. And then you're going to find that as you go through these settings, it's mostly just testing left and right to see which works. Personally, I think the exposure is pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to the tone curve, and I'm going to raise the shadows a bit, actually. So we have sort of a faded look. Then I'm actually going to lower the highlights a bit to boost the contrast. So we can compare this to the original. Already it's looking a bit better. It's got more of that orange feel. The clarity will boost a tad bit. You don't want to push these too much because it becomes very obvious that you've tinkered with them. And then vibrance and saturation. We're not going to try to touch too many colors right now because we're going to do that in the HSL settings, which is hue, saturation, luminance, which I talked about in my last video. Um, so we're just going to go through these light settings, figure out which works. Yeah, so, so far so good. Now, usually most people would just go straight to the HSL adjustments. Personally, I like to go to split toning because it gets me to sort of find a, a light color and a shadow color first, and then I can adjust further colors in the HSL adjustments. So how I like to do this actually is I like to boost these saturations all the way up and I like to pick out my color. So I want um, orange light and I want blue shadows. So as you can see, you can see in the little boxes here, the orange light and the blue shadows. And then from there, I adjust the balance to what I see fit. So the more to the right, the more the highlights will be, highlighted colors. And the more left, the more the shadow colors. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. I think it's best fitting. Usually if you just set it at zero, you'll notice this is way more blue than I want. And then once we're there, we're gonna tone this down. I usually start at around 15 for each in the saturation. Then I just adjust from there. Mm, that looks all right. So now we move into HSL and this is where you can adjust individual colors and you can adjust their hue, saturation, and luminance. And so usually how I do this is that I pick out the two colors, so we're doing orange here and blue here. And then the colors in between, I usually try to shift them in hue towards those colors, so the whole image is more set between two colors. So for the reds, I'm going to slightly shift it to the right, as we can tell. There's not that many reds, so I'm not too worried. The oranges, there's a few oranges here. I won't touch them, but I'll make them a bit more red. Because I'd rather have them be red than yellow. Maybe I'll lower the saturation a bit. Because I don't want this to be a focus point. Luminance I won't worry about. The yellows. So the yellows seems that most of these trees here were yellow. I'm going to shift it to the left. 
make it a bit more orange so we sort of have that autumn feel. Maybe I'll boost the saturation. Luminance is fine. I'm actually going to boost luminance a bit because it creates sort of like a rim light effect from the sun in the background. Then the green, the green I'm actually going to turn to a bit to the right. Or no, it'll be the trees. So actually I'm going to make it a bit to the left so I get that autumn feel once again. Boost the saturation a bit. The aquas, I'm gonna make them to the right. There's not that much blue. Actually, I'll boost the blue a bit in here. You can tell that there's a blue sky over here. Make it a bit more aqua so it stands out. Boost that a bit. There we go. Purple, it's not that many. Magenta, same. All right, so now, if we look before and after, we can clearly see two differences. So this picture has become pretty nice, actually. Next step is simply, well, actually, there's two remaining steps. First one, obviously, is to frame the picture a bit better. The camera's a bit sideways. There's a few steps to, that we're going to take here. So we're going to scroll down to Transform. And we're just going to go through these. First thing that I'm going to fix, I usually try to fix the rotation. I want this to be just nice and flat. So I'm going to turn on Constraint Crop On. If you don't turn it on, you'll notice you'll have these white sides. If you do turn it on, it'll fit it in automatically. But it will crop off the sides, obviously, so be aware of that. And then what you can do to have fine adjustments is you can click on the number here. But then you can use the up and down arrow key to make adjustments by the tenth decimal. And then you just let it load a bit and the crop will kick in. Or you have to click out and the crop will kick in. That seems pretty straight. I'm actually gonna... I don't want that much of the ground. So, move the wrong one. I'm gonna click the Y offset. I'm gonna move it down. And the fuck off. There we go. And then the next step is actually what I like to do for the road. I want this to be darker because I want this to be the focus point. And then I actually want the sunset to really pop. So I'm going to add another gradient there. So you're going to click graduated filter here. Then you're just going to click and drag. And automatically it'll boost the exposure up to one. But what we're going to do is we're going to lower it. Drag that a bit higher. There we go. So it looks nicer already. And so next what we'll do is that we're going to get another one. We're gonna, seems we've already placed it, but we're gonna click, drag down, and then I'm gonna focus on making this the clouds and the sunset really pop. So, lower the exposure a bit, because I want the focus to be down here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boost the contrast a bit, as well as slightly boost the saturation. And then, what you can do with these filters, you can really go through, oops, and once again adjust everything that we just adjusted at the start. But I think this is it. If we look at the before and after, it looks pretty complete. So yeah, there we go. We've got a fully edited picture. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please do consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.